going back to the first deal that uh, we closed with Park Row, uh, I remember I was actually at your house in Phoenix. So I was uh, out of the office. But nonetheless, I was in the backyard. We finally closed. I was excited. And I remember, I think I might have texted you or something, or you texted me and you said, are we closed? And I said, yep, we're closed. And then I think we got in the car and we went to lunch. And then you actually, and then I got back to the backyard. I'm doing some emails. And you call me and you say, you know, when you close a deal with a partner, you call them and you say, hey, congrats, we're closed, great working with you. And that was, uh, you know, sounds like a simple thing, but it was such a valuable lesson, number one, because you were willing to give it because you could have just gotten ticked off and gone, you know what, Rob didn't even call me after this closing. Well, he's ungrateful and you could have moved on, but you decided to actually vocalize it to me, which is the best gift you could have given. And luckily for me, I was smart enough to internalize it and definitely uh, learn from that. That's lesson me. number one. Lesson number two was kind of what Alan went through right there was you won't take no for an answer moving forward. So can you explain to everyone how this experience with an incredible partner shifted your mindset and also uh, your paradigm pertaining to transactions moving forward? Yeah, it's just a recap of what we've been talking about. When you hit a bump in the road or you hear a no, it just doesn't necessarily mean no, actually. You need to find the decision maker, you need to plead your case, and you need to be prepared to negotiate. I think that's that's the thing is, there, you know, especially banks, they can be quite rigid. They've got their parameters, and if you don't fit in the box, then it doesn't work. But at the end of the day, business and real estate and lenders are all just collections of people. And if you can appeal to the people, uh, then you can you can make things happen.